A Second Note on Flourish by Martin Seligman, who is the father of positive psychology, together with the, some say, um, Mihaly Chikso Mihaly. <laughs> Two fathers, even if there is no uh, uh, homosexual relationship between the two. So, um, <coughs> Martin Seligman is um, like a saint, a demigod, and an important um, patriarch, uh, Ubermensch. We can continue on, on this path uh, for positive psychology, which, uh, if you ask me, uh, has a chance to be something like a, a new religion um, in the sense that it is a science but its precepts, its rules, discoveries should be assimilated and followed with a religious uh, care, and with a uh, religious uh, fervor, uh, passion because uh, ultimately People will flourish, uh, like the title of this book uh, suggests. And uh, if they add to that the belief in God, in, uh, well, Supreme Being keeps coming to mind, but Karen Armstrong has stated this is wrong, it's not a being. Uh, entity, let's say. Uh, that, that, that can again, lead to an ultimate state of bliss. If we ask Nathaniel Brandon, if we look at his uh, psychological effects of religion, uh, that work uh, is of the contrary opinion that religion will uh, have only negative uh, effects on people's happiness, psych psychological state. But still, there are many studies that show religious people as being happy. Than, uh, than the others, non-believers. Uh, an example which comes to mind has the states of uh, Nevada and Utah uh, compared on life satisfaction levels and Utah, the religious, is doing much better. Coming back to the point, if I can, uh, Flourish is about the way you can um, use positive psychology to be happy and flourish. I will repeat that because it's a good name and it's a, it's um, uh, like something like a goal, something like also a, uh, the, an ultimate um, uh, meaning of life. Aristotle said that this is the meaning of life. One wants to be happy, people want to be happy. When they are perfect, it's great, and when they're not happy, they try to be. So, indeed, it's a good observation. And Martin Seligman has uh, two other classes of, of psychology, and positive, positive psychology, uh, to which he refers in Flourish, authentic happiness and learning optimism. The latter, learning optimism, um, uh, is based on studies he made wherein they used dogs, animals, uh, to see what happens in, 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 in a paradigm wherein um, dogs and animals were taught uh, something which could be called learn, learned helplessness. Uh, that is, there were various situations in which they had a feeling, I mean, not just a feeling, but there were circumstances they couldn't change, even if they didn't like them, being trapped somewhere, um, even suffering some minor pain, if I remember well. Uh, and once they got used to that, even when they could change something, they still reacted passive, uh, helpless, hence learned helplessness. The opposite is learning optimism. As for authentic happiness, uh, Martin Seligman uh, 
uh, is of the opinion in uh, in uh, uh, Flourish that uh, uh, we can go beyond that. That what can be perfected, if I'm allowed to say that. And um, he mentions also the name, the, fa the name on the smiley. Uh, I think he says that the smiley has become such a such a, uh, um, a presence, uh, it's only present that it doesn't have any effect anymore, uh, that, that uh, emoji or whatever we call it. Now we need to come back to this uh, subject in a further note.